So very good morning to all. Uh, in the last classes, we discussed uh, the basic structure of flower and the different parts of the flower. And each part, uh, we discussed uh, the different types, the different occurrence of uh, uh, the sepals, petals, stamens, uh, gynecium, mm? and also we discussed its union. Mm? Uh, and about how to draw floral diagram, how to draw uh, write floral formula, hmm? whatever related to flowers we discussed. Okay. Now, today we are going to discuss the occurrence of group of flowers, what you call hmm? when flowers occur in clusters. That is the part known as inflorescence. Understood? Okay. So, let us study what is an inflorescence, what are the different types, etc. Okay. So, flowers born in singly or in clusters, you know, when you look at uh, the shoe flower, hibiscus, hmm, what how it occur? It usually occur as singly, hmm, single flower. Okay. So, that flower, you can call it as solitary flowers. Okay. So, but when you look at uh, when you just look at the uh, plant, uh, our uh, common and uh, national, uh, sorry, uh, Kerala's flower, hmm? Kanikona, hmm? you know, Cassia, Fistula, how it occur? It occur in clusters, long drooping clusters, okay. So, when you look at banana flower, hmm? cluster of flowers you can see, okay. So, when you look at uh, crotal area, hmm? you can see cluster of flowers. When you look at usually the jasmine, hmm, they also occur two or three in groups. So, this type of occurrence is known as what? Inflorescence. Clear? Okay. So, the inflorescence is the flowers occur in clusters. Clear? Okay. So, what based on the location, inflorescence may be classified into three types. What are they? Terminal inflorescence. So, inflorescence occur at the tip of the branches then uh, intercalary inflorescence inflorescence occur at the middle portions in between mm, uh, axis nodes etc then at axillary axil of leaf axil of stem etc axillary inflorescence clear so terminal intercalary and axillary that is a position of inflorescence flowers also occur like this you know that now the axis of an inflorescence is called a peduncle. You already studied what is a pedicel. Pedicel is the stalk of the flower. That is known as what? Pedicel. Okay. So, uh, the cluster of flowers at the base of it having a stalk, hmm, an axis. That is known as what? Peduncle. Okay. So, um, now based on the arrangement, the structure and organization of flower in the axis, hmm, you can have different types of inflorescence. So, this, there is an axis on which flowers are arranged. It can be of different way of arrangement. So, when you look at Cassia fistula um, and uh, there is a pattern is there. So, when you look at the jasmine flowers, there is a particular pattern is there. Mm? Okay. So, based on that, that is based mainly based on the flower arrangement in the axis. So, it may be of different Types. There are mainly four types of inflorescence. What are they? Racimose inflorescence, cymose inflorescence, mixed type of inflorescence and special types of inflorescence. Okay. Racimose, cymose, mixed type and special type of inflorescence. Okay. So, first one is racimose. What is the peculiarity here is? Inflorescence axis show unlimited growth means axis of the inflorescence will grow continuously. Okay. So, what happens? Flowers arranged in an acropetal succession means in the axis flowers at the basal part is the older one, matured one. Okay. Flower at the tip is younger one usually in bud condition that is known as what? Uh, the acropetal succession. So, younger flowers at the tip, older flower at the base of the inflorescence axis. Understood? Hmm? Then order of the opening is, it is also known as centripetal. From periphery towards the 
center when some flowers occur in uh, like a disk hmm? so outer flowers will open first central flowers open last that's known as centripetal opening of flowers so acropetal succession is younger flower at the top older flower at the base centripetal opening that's known as what racemos inflorescence simple example is crotal area okay look so there are different classes coming under racemos inflorescence so based on the axis it's arrangement different classes are there first one is main axis elongated one then main axis shortened one main axis flattened one so what are the three categories main axis elongated main axis shortened and main axis flattened so these are the three groups coming under racemos inflorescence understood okay now main axis elongated what are the different cases coming under first category of racemos that is main axis elongated okay so there are two types of flowers arranged in the axis one is flower with the stalk is you know the stalk of the flower is pedicel so flower with the pedicel pedicelate flower without stalk that is sessile okay so main axis elongated having sessile flowers as well and as well as pedicelate flower okay so its classification is like this first one is simple raceme simple raceme is with numerous pedicelate flowers in acropetal succession okay so uh, flower arises in bract that's our ordinary feature so a simple example is crotal area yellow colored flower that we usually used in our onam pookala okay so what is here uh, flowers in acropetal succession but uh, all flowers are pedicelate basil having older flower up, upper side having younger flower. then second type is compound raceme or panicle what is that the inflorescence axis is branched but flower arranged in acropetal succession so number of simple racemes in branches so many branches inflorescence axis having many branches each branch is a simple raceme understood example is mangifera our mango okay you can see the pictures also next is spike what is spike flowers are sessile what is simple raceme and panicle flowers are pedicelate clear in spike flowers are sessile arranged in acropetal order acheranthus you know acheranthus uh, kadaladi and piper longum our tippeli then chira you know amaranthus having this type hmm? so flowers are in sessile flowers that is only the difference but basal flowers are matured one upper flowers are younger one but they are sessile that's a difference from simple raceme okay now what is compound spike inflorescence axis is branched so number of spike in branches each branch is known as what spikelets each branch is known as spikelet so this is having some peculiar feature this compound spike or spikelet this usually occur in poaceae family or grass family hmm? our rice wheat everything uh, in inflorescence is like this so difference uh, the special features are each inflorescence show bract at its base the bracts are known as glooms clear then each inflorescence axis has the bract called glooms then each flower has a bract called lemma okay each flower has the bract lemma inflorescence has the bract gloom now uh, uh, in the bract or lemma there is another bracteole that is called pallia in which flowers are arranged okay so basal bract of inflorescence glooms flowers bract lemma then above that bracteole pallia then in that flower arises okay then there is also some more name the perianth no differentiation to sepal and petal that is known as lodicules understood okay so compound spike is actually what number of spikes okay branched 
inflorescence axis each branch having uh, that is known as spikelet okay that is a compound spike each branch is spikelet see uh, so this is a solitary flower flower solitary singly occurring so this is a sessile flowers this is a sessile flower see these are all sessile flowers see this is the flower in pedicel this is the typical example for racemos inflorescence see how it is arranged this is an inflorescence okay the axis uh, the stalk this is the peduncle see larger flowers at the base see these are the small buds at the tip this is the acropetal succession this is a simple raceme okay so see this is the branched raceme how it is branched raceme this is a raceme this is a raceme so this is an axis in inflorescence so number of racemes in a in branches that is branched raceme or called panicle see this is all cherry then uh, how diagrammatically it represent this is the spike sessile flowers in acropetal succession sessile flower means no stalk this is raceme says pedicellate flowers this is branched raceme or you can call it as panicle understood okay now fifth one is spadix what is the peculiar feature is here the inflorescence axis is swollen and fleshy okay so here we are discussing the nature of the axis that is swollen and fleshy okay entire inflorescence so there is an axis that is swollen and fleshy this entire inflorescence is covered by a structure that is known as a bract called spathe okay so in the axis basal flowers are female flowers okay then upper flowers are sterile means male no male no female okay neutral flowers and also male flowers so female flower tip male flower in between sterile flowers okay uh, in certain the tip of the extreme tip having no flowers example is colocasia you know chambe hmm? chena having this type of inflorescence you know uh, about anthurium anthurium plant anthurium having the color uh, the colored portion is actually it's a bract colored bract hmm? that is a bract so that bract is called a spathe so when in bud condition what is the colored portion uh, actually wraps the central axis so the what is the raised structure the actually that is the inflorescence clear so it having basal flowers then middle flowers upper flowers and extreme tip having no flower that's known as what spadix okay where compound spadix is what a branched flower sessile flowers but uh, large boat shaped bract spathe of covers okay many uh, such a branched sessile flowers you know cocos coconut flower you know that is example see here um, this is the example for spadix this central portion this is the actual inflorescence what is this this is the spathe that covers is known as spathe okay so at its base female flower then here male flower here neutral flower this is free this is the compound spadix of coconut understood so compound spadix of coconut this is the uh, spadix of uh, simple Uh, colocasia and also you can observe in anthurium also this we already discussed clear so i hope you understood well now uh, main axis is shortened so what we discussed main axis is elongated simple raceme branched raceme or panicle spike compound spike then spadix that is the first main axis is elongated clear okay hope clear so what is the typical feature of racemos axis continues to grow unlimited growth axis basal flowers are larger one upper flowers are younger one flowers arranged in acropetal succession flower opening centripetal way three groups main axis elongated main axis shortened main axis flattened under main axis elongated we discussed simple raceme compound raceme or panicle spike compound spike then spadix clear okay now second part main axis shortened its first category is corymb what is that corymb okay 
So pedicels of the flowers are having different length. What is the pedicel? Stalk of a flower. Okay. So inflorescence axis is there. Then flowers having pedicel is there. Pedicellated flower. But pedicels having different length. That is a feature. So what happened? Uh, starting from here. This is one pedicel. This is second pedicel. This is third pedicel. Fourth. So different length. So once it reached here. All flowers, uh, flowers having same line. Okay. So that is a feature. So flowers appear at the same level at the top. So lower flowers having long pedicel. Upper flowers having short pedicel. So finally everything in same line. That is corymb. Then second one is umbel. Umbel means. Main axis is simple or branched. Both type are there. The axis growth suddenly stops. What happens? A whirl of bract arise at the tip of inflorescence. The bract group is known as involucre of bracts. Okay. So flowers, pedicels are very short. And the axis growth is also suppressed. Okay. Flowers in the same level. Short. You know the flowers of onion. Hmm? When you buy the onion uh, stem from the market for uh, for curry we are buying from market no so in that you can see the flowers at its tip like uh, appear like uh, i mean sun mm? like uh, with uh, this so that is uh, spikes like appearance that is known as what umbel inflorescence where main axis is short and okay now see the picture this is the corymb see this is the main axis this is the lower flower. Lower flower having long pedicel. This is the uh, older flowers. See? Then uh, just above somewhat uh, smaller size than this pedicel. So size uh, of the pedicel reduces when you go up. Upside, upper side young flowers. So what happened? Finally all flower in the same. So you know this flower. This is usually called a, a sea salpinia. Rajamalli in our area. Okay used in puja purposes. Then compound umbel. What is compound umbel? Main axis produces involucre of bract and having number of branches. Branches are called a rays. Each branch again produces bract. So uh, what you know umbel? Umbel is axis with the shortened axis with a number of small pedicellated flowers. Everything look like a uh, globose like structure like this with a number of pedicels. But like many, many such branches with the umbel is known as what? Compound umbel. Okay. Example is carrot flower. No. Then uh, next category. So what we studied in the second category, main axis shortened, corymb and umbel. Umbel is simple umbel and compound umbel. Two types. Okay. Now main axis flattened. What is this? Main axis is flattened, flattened structures hmm? like cup like or somewhat. One important uh, inflorescence is head, head or capitula. Okay, what is head? Main axis flattened. Flattened main axis is called thalamus. Okay. It is function as a thalamus, look like a thalamus. Okay, so it bear small flowers. Flowers are called florets, small flowers in acropetal order. And large number of bracts also at its base. That is known as involucre of bract. And bracts are green in color. Okay. So there are two types of flowers in a head. One is disc floret. Another one is ray floret. What are the two types of flowers in a head? Tubular or disc floret. Ligulate or ray floret. Two types of flowers. Tubular or disc floret. Ligulate or Ray floret. So one flower seen at the center of the disc, other flowers at the periphery of the disc. So we will clearly understood. Axis is actually flattened like a thalamus, like this. Okay. Then there is central flowers and peripheral flowers. See, this is the inflorescence. So you know the flowers of sunflower, hmm? marigold, chendumaliga. Hmm? When you look at Jamandi, etc., what is happening here? What, what is the condition? That is like a globus. Eh? Surrounding you can have petals. At the center there is no petal. But you, what you, what is in your mind, what is present at the center is it is a stamen. That is not stamens. That is the flowers. And peripheral one is also flowers. So, peripheral colored petals are there. That is the um, ray floret. 
and central flowers are known as tubular floret that is a disc floret ray floret and a disc floret so small flowers are known as floret see this is a cross section this is the thalamus uh, no, flattened axis this is a flattened axis peripheral side having what uh, ray floret central side having the, uh, the disc floret understood so this this is an example umbel that we already discussed this is umbel main axis shortened and all pedicellated flower appear like this umbel this is a compound umbel this is simple umbel many simple umbels that's compound umbel this is a head okay so you just uh, uh, look at your uh, cosmos mm, flowers senia flowers mm, dahlia everything you look at what is the condition periphery you can have when you have a onam pookanam what you will peel off the uh, petals only what you are taking out is only the uh, peripheral floret only central one is there that is a disc floret this is both are actually flowers so number of flowers each flower is known as what floret mm? so the this is the disc or capitulum head or capitulum understood okay. so main axis flattened there are two types of uh, head homogamous head and heterogamous head homogamous means what only single kind only ray floret or disc floret vernonia is an example vernonia puvangurundale hmm? heterogamous means both condition that is ray floret and disc floret tridacts is there helianthus sunflower is there they are all example for heterogamous head so main axis flattened there is only one 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 type head or capitulum two types are there homogamous head or heterogamous what is the character of head head is having uh, small flowers known as florets peripheral flowers and central flower peripheral flowers are uh, floret central one is disc floret sometimes there is only one type then that uh, head is known as homogamous head if two florets are present that is heterogamous head so you have to uh, study how to differentiate both of them with the examples okay i hope you clearly understood so what we studied today what is inflorescence what are the different types racemos cymos mixed and special so we are now studying the first type racemos under racemos again there are main axis elongated main axis shortened main axis flattened main axis elongated simple raceme branched raceme or panicle spike compound spike simple spike spadix okay then main axis shortened corymb and umbel means corymb all pedicels um, lower pedis, uh, flower having long upper short so everything in same line umbel what is main axis shortened so all look like uh, Uh, appear at one side every flower in the top so a globular type appearance like a number of simple umbels together that's known as compound umbel then um, you have to study main axis of uh, flattened example is head or capitulum homogamous head and heterogamous head so this is uh, usually asking for examination uh, describe uh, different types of racemos in florescence differentiate corymba and umbel hmm? differentiate panicle and spike hmm? uh, what is the features of spadix hmm? so many many questions may arise from this part this is very very important for examination